Hi there. Welcome to MCSI. My name is Erica. In this video, I will demonstrate how publicly available data can be collected from a target Instagram account for open source intelligence. If you want to know how social media platforms benefit open source intelligence activities, I invite you to watch another video on our channel. The description box below contains a link to it. First, Let's talk about all the possible data that can be retrieved from a target Instagram account. At first glance, you can view the bio section of a target's profile. It contains information like the target's Instagram handle, descriptive information they have included about themselves, number of posts made, number of followers, and number of profiles followed. Then, depending on whether the target's account is public or private, you can view the uploaded posts and reels. For every post and reel, you can view the media contents, timestamp at which the upload was made, number of likes, and also the comments. If the target had been tagged in posts or reels by other uploaders, you will find a section containing that content too. The target can also upload stories that are photos or videos up to 15 seconds in length. Content in the Stories section disappear in 24 hours. You can view the uploaded stories, if any, by clicking on the target's profile picture. Every Instagram profile has a unique identifier associated with it. Even if the account's handle is modified, the unique identifier does not change. To view an account's unique ID, navigate to the account's page, right-click anywhere on the page, and select View Page Source in the dialog box that appears. Here, Perform a search for the keyword profile underscore ID. The numerical value next to the search keyword is the unique identifier associated with this Instagram account. This is helpful to track down a target when you suspect that their handle has been modified. If a public account has greater than 200 followers, you can see the list of followers by clicking here. However, you can view only the most recent 50 followers. You can view the entire list of accounts followed by your target by clicking on following. You can view this entire list. You can also view the list of hashtags followed by the target. If an Instagram account has been set as private, then you will not be able to see the list of followers and list of profiles followed by default. Even if you are friends with the target, the target can limit who can view this listing. Additionally, there is a Chrome browser extension called IG Follower Export Tool. When this extension is added to your browser, you can simply provide a profile's name as input and choose whether you want to retrieve the entire list of followers or profiles followed. Simply click on the extension to use it. Even if the number of followers is greater than 200, this extension can collect the entire list, along with publicly available information about those profiles. However, this extension works only for public profiles. Now let's talk about Instagram uploads, which could be images or videos. Images are typically found in the posts section and videos are found in the reels section. For every post or reel, you can find the media content, the timestamp when it was posted, the list of profiles that had liked this post, and the list of comments on the post. Let's take a look at the details for the latest post. When you click on a post, you can see its URL in the address bar, and the post opens up in a separate dialog box. To open the post in its own page, simply visit this URL. Typically, it is not possible to download images directly from an Instagram post. Here's what you can do instead. Right-click the image and select Inspect in the dialog box that appears. You will be led to some HTML content. Navigate to the contents of the image tag. You can see some URL here. When you hover over this section, you can see a dialog box containing the URL. All these URL correspond to the image used in the first post. They are used multiple times in the HTML script, along with other parameters, 
for rendering on screens of varying display sizes. Let's navigate to the first URL. From this page, you can right-click the image and save it. You can also download browser extensions like this one. Once this extension has been enabled, when you visit a profile and hover over an image, you can see a download button for it. Click on this button to download the image. Here, you can see the approximate day or time at which the post was made. Instagram typically indicates whether the post was made hours ago or days ago or weeks ago. To find the exact date and time at which this image was posted, right-click on the text here and select Inspect Element. In the window that opens up, look at the value present within the date time attribute. This is the exact date and time at which this post was made. This value is present in UTC. You can utilize date time converters to convert this value to a time zone of your choice. You can see the number of likes for this post. When you click on the number, you can see the list of 100 profiles that have liked this post. You can also view the comments made. To find the exact time at which a comment was made, right-click on the value and select Inspect Element. This is the same as what we did for the actual post. You can download all the comments on a post using this tool, exportcomments.com. Simply paste the link to the post. and view the entire list of comments on the post. The timestamp here is presented in UTC. This tool is particularly helpful when you are dealing with a post that has a large number of comments. Now, let's talk about reels, which are videos that are about 90 seconds long. Just like we did for image posts, you can view the exact timestamp at which this reel was uploaded, the profiles that have liked this reel, and when each comment was posted. During your investigation, you may be required to download reels and investigate them further. Similar to posts, we cannot directly save a reel to our computer. We will right-click on the reel and select Inspect Element. Here, we will navigate to the Network tab and load the page again. You can see the various elements being populated here. Let's search for content of type media. Here, you can see the URL for a resource of type MP4. Let's copy this URL and open it in a separate browser window. From this window, you can simply right-click on the video and save it to your computer. Try it out. Within this tag section, you can see posts made by other users in which your target has been tagged. You can also use tools like InstaLoader and InstaLooter to download publicly available content from a target Instagram profile. We can also use search engines to enhance investigating a target's Instagram activities. Let's say your target's Instagram account is a private one. Then it will not be possible to view their posts, reels, etc. Here is a target private account. Let's copy the profile name. The target may have commented on another Instagram post that is public. We will use search engine queries to identify those public posts. For Instagram posts, the URL has the domain name followed by slash P followed by a random sequence alphanumeric characters. Let's construct a Google search engine query that searches for other public Instagram posts where the target with the private Instagram account may have commented. Here is a comment. 
to find public posts where the target has been mentioned, use the at symbol in the search query. It looks like there are no public posts where the target has been mentioned. For this target, Let's create a search query to find out if the target has accounts on other websites using the same handle. We can provide the handle as the search term. It appears that the target has accounts on Twitter and LinkedIn. I hope you have a good idea now about how publicly available data can be collected from target Instagram account. Set up an anonymous Instagram account for Austin activities. Pick a target and gather intelligence about them. If you like this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon.